Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, when we left off, we were here, but uh, we weren't looking through the menus yet, and there is farming tech we could learn. I mean, we wouldn't be able to do anything with the plantable seed stuff until after... I get all of this, and I would need to get more salvage data before I even can, but it is something we can do. It is something we can do. So, at a certain point, we'll do that, <laughs> for lack of a better phrase. But, um, salvage data I have, I kind of want to put it into something that would be semi-useful. What was I talking about? Pure ferrite is very useful later on, and these large prefabs seem to be made of mainly pure ferrite, which makes sense. And then some other things are made of silver and glass and stuff, but that's besides the point. The point is, I was correct <laughs> in that these things are mainly going to need ferrite in the future. Then there's some that require magnetized ferrite. That's really weird. But a lot of pure ferrite going to be needed very soon. So in the future, that's a thing we'll do. But I want to get tech. What can I get in the tech department? I could get a landing pad. That would be useful. Actually, that'd be fairly useful. Um... <laughs> I could get a medium refiner, which would allow me to refine two different substances into one new material. Or materials to be processed at better ratios. That would be nice. Just require some dihydrogen jelly to make that. Antimatter reactor and a large refiner. Antimatter. Oh, that would allow me to just set it and forget it, and I would just harvest antimatter. Okay. Well, I mean, I'd need fuel to get it to work, but other than that... Resulting antimatter is safely contained, ready to use in all standard hyperspace power units. That would be nice. Huh. Antimatter reactor. Well, that's an idea. And eventually we will do that. But I'm kind of leaning towards the medium refiner. You know, a landing pad is good and all that. It would save me on uh, recharging the uh, <laughs> landing gear, certainly. But a medium refiner to allow me to process at better ratios on top of allowing me to do two different substances at once, which is what I would require to make the deuterium, or whatever the hell it's called, <laughs> uh, then it would be okay. It'd be easier to do with this. So, let's get that. There we go. Medium refiner. A vital piece of planetary equipment. The refiner allows gathered substances to be processed into more powerful and more advanced materials. The refiner allows two different substances to be combined into one new material or materials to be processed at better ratios. The medium refiner must be installed in an habitable base, but does not require additional power sources. Well, that works. That works out beautifully. Wow, that thing needs 20! Jesus. Alright. Uh, well. Green wall screen. Well, I kind of want that, but... I'm not that vain to just waste salvage data on that. Or am I? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's... Well, let's go ahead and get that hydroponic tray, since I have enough salvage data for it. Get it out of the way. There we go. Self-contained growth system for the indoor cultivation of agricultural crops. Build requirement must be placed indoors. That's fine. I could do that. All right, now that that's done, we are now set. We will now move on. Seed. Whoa. 
received that much. Oh, dude. Dude. Hey, you can give, give me some of that. <laughs> give me some of that. I can use that. <laughs> I can use all of that, actually. Wow. Wow, dude. Danza is just getting so much freaking <laughs> stuff. And now it's just like, wow. Now it's impossible to tell if he's just getting more of it or not. What have you learned, Traveler? What generates Artemis Entity signal? Mention the portal. I tell Nada how we failed to understand Artemis's location. I explain their strange messages, Apollo, and the portal glyphs. Nada pauses. Their lights blink as they, as they process the information. Artemis slips between worlds into the data file. Our home lives in these spaces, but these holes are stable, small. Nada is worried, Traveler. Cracks between the iterations should not widen. It will not help us. Artemis Entity still does not remember Nada? They did not. This is a puzzle. A trap? Or a tragedy? Apollo Entity is unknown to Nada. More puzzling still. If Traveler Entity is curious, Nada has advice. The rampant, cris <laughs> the rampant crimson is the work of Atlas, Atlas Falsity. I can't talk. Wow. Give me a second. I'm just going to... Until I get my brain to work properly. Reggie, please cut that out. <laughs> Reggie, please cut that out. Don't let anyone hear what I just did. <laughs> The rampant crimson is the work of Atlas Falsity. Other Corvax say deity. Nada knows better. Atlas False Entity hunts Nada. But Traveler may seek them out, draw them away. Really? I got a whole lot of nanites out of that. And Quicksilver! Hello. I have no problems with that. That is a helmet. Specialist Polo, let's talk to you. Boundaries are strange things, traveler friend. Most things stay where they belong. Other things, our home, Atlas, and now Artemis friend, slip between. Curious. What about portals? Just devices, traveler friend. To be understood, copied, advanced. That is all we can do with these with this universe, yes? Appreciate it. Interesting. Search for Artemis and Apollo. Travelers, Helios, and Ares supply nanites. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I could get more nanites if I talked to these two. Helios, I'll talk to you because you're more fun. Ah, young one. You who still roam the boundaries of this universe. How I envy you. My time out in reality has long passed, but I do so miss it. Perhaps you might help an old soul and share the things you've seen. I miss the feeling of dirty hands and hard work, grafting among the rocks and soil. Well, here's some mineral data I collected. Thank you, little one. You have no idea what this means to me. Please take these nanites. They are nothing, but they are all I have now. Eh, I mean, it, it, you were right. It was nothing. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Ares, let's talk to you. Traveler hopes to make progress. Traveler, test themselves. I will help in exchange. Progress for progress. Or wealth, perhaps. Experience for more materials. Both that. Today, Gravitino balls. Well, I don't have any of those, but I have milestone data. You have seen much, but do you understand? Not for me to know. Please, take this. Whoa, that's a lot more than I got out of Helios. Hell yeah. Alright. Let's get out of here. Oh, that ship looks cool. That ship looks pretty cool. So does the one over here, too. Only it was in a color I liked. Whoa. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Look at this thing. Jesus, how many wings do you need, dude? <laughs> Wow, it's actually kind of cool. And that ship's same as the one over there. Interesting. Must be more common than I thought. Ah, that's my ship, but in blue. Goo, 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 goo. 
Wee. Wee. Yep. Ow. Started ein Mission im Nexus. Oh, that's German. Ah, okay. So we'll get notifications of other players in their native language. Interesting. Interesting. The Skylark of the Stars. Time to get out of here. I've done all I can here. Onward, I must fly. Away! Alright. Let's head over to my freighter. Whee! Oh boy! Alright. Closer than I thought I would. And up we go. Whoop -a okay. That was not supposed to happen. None of that was supposed to happen. <laughs> Okay. Don't know why it happened, but it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. At least I didn't cause any damage to it. That's the important part. Yep. Some of these guys are going to fly in, so I might as well join them in my ship. Alright. Cool. I do intend on changing the name of the capital ship at some point. Just not yet. I kind of want to check on some of these. Meh. There's that big ship again. And there's a similarly big, but not as big ship. Well, hello. Oh, boy. You're a big chunky boy, aren't you? Damn. All right. Cool. All right. I think I'm done. Marveling at these ships for a little bit. <laughs> I think. Hmm. Let's check on. Oh, they aren't damaged. Good. If one of the ships was damaged, they'd show red in their outline instead of blue. Calibrating. Let's check how far along they are. Another three hours. Okay. It was like a four hour trip, so that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Alright then. Let's search that. For life support gel, I guess. Condensed carbon. And what's the other thing? Antimatter housing. Yeah, that's fine. Put that there. Let's make some more of these, huh? At least five. That should be fine, I think. Um, hmm. Solarium. Solanium, rather. Oh, I don't have any of it collected. Well, good thing I collected it then. Uh, these should actually probably be in their own little segment. Like here. There we go. Um, move the phosphorus here. Here, I guess. With the uranium, which I need more of here. Pyrite here. Actually, speaking of which, I learned pyrite uh, recently is actually the scientific name for what is normally known as fool's gold. That is interesting that I found that out. And apparently, pyrite is a pretty useful material in and of itself, just not as valuable as gold, obviously. But, it's cool to learn. Tell you what, learning stuff I didn't expect. Alright, um, put that there. Because that's probably where I'm going to need it the most, honestly. Um, hmm. More dight, we'll put that where it belongs there. Good. Um, let's have that not be at the top, because that looks weird. Let's have this at the top. There we go. A little better. A little better. Scaly meat. I could sell that. It's probably more worth it to sell it than to hold on to it. Also, 
this whole this whole thing here we got going on it's a little weird can I fix that maybe can I possibly fix that just delete this oh not exactly what I meant <laughs> um, what I meant technically was I was going to just do a large room instead Hmm. I could do that. Just need to change it to the color I want. Just need to delete that and then put this there. There we go. Gives us a lot more space in this little cargo hold of ours. And actually, I kind of want to delete that just for now. Um delete that too. There we go. Don't need that light. We'll leave those there for now. Um, delete place. There we go. Place and delete and place. Cool. And we'll just delete whatever this was. Oh, it was just a storage thing. And deleted. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. Actually, you know what? I'm just trying to make it a little more roomy in here, you know what I mean? Just trying to make it more roomy, make it look like it's a wide open space. I might, just a little bit, might just alter a few things around here to make that a little bit more doable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that works. Huh. Whoa, whoa, okay. Alright, alright, geez. That got weird. Oh, oh, I don't have enough silver for that. Uh-oh. That's unfortunate. Didn't know I would be running out of silver that quickly if I decided to do this. Well, I guess I should have known. Uh, well. What if... I delete things that I don't necessarily need. Like there, and here. I don't necessarily need it to be that wide over here, do I? I don't think I do. Would that give me enough? It would. Cool. Widens this up considerably. All right. Okay. Getting somewhere now. When it comes to designing this little base of uh, mine. I was about to say ours, but it's mainly mine. <laughs> At some point, I might actually shorten this a little bit, too. But I'll need a lot more silver. I'll need a lot more materials in general for that. I've used up a lot of tritium just doing all of that. Okay, so I'm going to sell the scaly meat that I have in my inventory, and it's basically burning a hole in my pocket. Get rid of that. Perfect. Alright, and I think that's everything I need. Cool. In fact, I might change this orientation a little bit too. But that'll be later. I'll get rid of this here. Put it over there. And then get rid of this one and put it over there. And then I'll put this somewhere else. I just don't know where I want to put it. Huh. I'm in designing mode in my head real quick, so give me a second. I I'm I sometimes get into designer sort of mood and that's kind of what I'm doing right now 
So, let's move on instead. And let's see. I'm pretty good on what I got. Pretty good on what I got so far. I'm going to put this here and reorient this a little bit. There we go. Why? For no other reason than because I can. Jetpack tanks being 138% bigger. That's just crazy to me. I love it. It's just crazy to me. 138% more. Wow. All right. Okay. Um, magnetized ferrite. Oh, yeah, that's right. I needed to do a bit of that. Um, let's cut this down a little bit. There we go. And we're going to go for 275. That ain't too bad. Just add that to my pile of magnetized ferrite there. Ain't too bad. Ain't too bad at all. All right. Uh-oh. Dropped a bunch of frames there. Sorry. <laughs> Only just noticed it. All right. Well, now that we've done the big thing. The big thing I wanted to do. Um, let's check um, the log and see where I want to go with other things. Wait for additional data to be restored. How long do I have to wait? Oh! Like 45 minutes. It's basically another episode. That's fine. I can wait. Um, at this path. Ooh, goes to the machine. Locate and activate a hollow terminus so I can talk to Apollo. I can do that. The beeping seems to tell me, yeah, I could do that, so I'll do that. Alright. That wasn't the button I meant to hit. I meant to hit this button. Oh, it's done. Nice. Put it in the exosuit. Put this full of that. And we'll call that good. Hmm. I want more. I want more slots. <laughs> I want more slots for my exosuit. I want more. Alright. Moving onward. Oh. Criminal over here. Interesting. That off the rocket launcher real quick. Out of range, huh? Well, not for long. Aha! <laughs> gotcha! And we got... A lot of standing with the Corvax from that. Damn. Cool. Alright. Um, got some chromatic metal. Cool. Alright. Hollow Terminus detected. Where was it detected? Is the question. It's saying up here. Oh! Significance. I'm at Corvax rank 6 out of 9. 69. Nice. All right. Um, let's head to the hollow terminus. Which is, funny enough, near my base. And near my base on the moon of Iguchi. Gotta love that. the approximate location, which is not exactly the location. Where would it be? Ah! There it be. Now we land. Ha! Warm dewdrops, irregular patrols, frequent and ample. This planet is pretty damn good, honestly. Hey, sodium nitrate. Always nice. Get some more things out of these. And these and these. Well, if this is pure ferrite. Whoops, that is the wrong thing. 
this is the right thing. Always could use more. More, 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 more. Seth Wright. It's an interesting name, actually. Alright. About to say, can I reach that rock? I don't think I can. Yeah, it's just a little too far away. Damn. Alright, well. Oh, I can get nitrogen out of this one. Well, I mean... No reason not to, right? I'm going to get into a mind-crazy mood before I even finish half the story, I tell you. <laughs> I'm just going to get into a crazy mood where I'm just collecting stuff. And just don't stop. That's what's going to happen. I can guarantee. What is this? What? what? Oh, a little faster. Get out of here. Come on. There we go. Bye. Alright. Welp. Might as well test the jetpack again. Just as useful as it was. <laughs> Gotta love it. Up we go. And let's back it up to... No, I don't want to use that. I want to have my trusty jetpack. All right, cool. Hollow terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter. Yep, I already know that. Tune to Apollo. Signal match detected. Well, you're interesting looking. I don't know what you've got going on with your hands there, but you are interesting looking. The transmission is silent. The stranger just stares at me. Hello? Identify yourself or I end this call. I'm a traveler. And what does that mean to be a traveler? Mention the anomaly. What? Nonsense. You're worse than Artemis and their weird dreams. I'm not interested in dreamers. Oh, but did Artemis send you? Things suddenly make sense. Look, we are alone. We're not like the rest of life here. Yes, it's strange. No, the answer isn't in wishful delusions. It just is what it is. You can tell Artemis that I haven't changed my mind about me. I'll do it if I'm paid to do it. Even this conversation is a waste of valuable time. Well, Artemis is in trouble. Does that change your mind? I tell Apollo that Artemis is in trouble. That they attempted to use a portal and became stranded on some distant and uncharted world, disappearing from the network. Their last word was Apollo's name. Apollo's demeanor changes. Send me your data logs. Let me see this for myself. Upload the log. Apollo studies the log, pausing and replaying with the various segments of static and distortions. They turn to me with a glow of excitement. These noises. They sound just like the echoes of sentinel events. You've seen them before, of course. Drones that appear from nowhere if you interfere with their precious planets. But this data, it's distorted. Inverted. There's a lot to gain if we figure out how the sentinels appear so quickly. And this, the portals, perhaps they're the key. Life is worth more than money. Yes, yes, probably. But we can figure this out. But if we can figure this out, we can save Artemis too. Don't fret. So, what do you say? Do you want to work together on this? Be partners? Sure. If you're going to work with me, we need to expand your base of operations. I'll send you a contact of mine. He'll supply you with what you need. Just remember to be polite. Okay. Fair enough. As the hologram fades, Apollo's head suddenly... Uh, Apollo's head turns to the side ever so slightly, as if sighing, saddened. Or perhaps it was nothing. A ghost in the machine. Interesting. Apollo's contact is outside local system. Consult galaxy map. Interesting. 
Interesting. Apollo's contact. Whoop -a -doo, whoop -a -doo. Okay. Me. Ow. That hurt. All right. Um. Wow. I only got one nitrogen out of that. Are you for real? One nitrogen out of that tree. God damn it. All right. Well. Now I feel like I need to do more. All right. There we go. At least I got a little more nitrogen out of it. It's not a lot, but it's something. Cool. Still only getting like one. Ah, oh, well. It's something. It's something at least. Why did my other Xbox turn on? <laughs> what? That was weird. Okay. Weird. Whoa! Okay. Didn't realize it was that close to the thing. <laughs> Alright. Well... I don't recognize you, but apparently it's a cannibal. That can't be good. Did I ever get these things? Yes, I did. Okay, cool. Alright. Well. I think I'm done on this planet for now. Wee Woo! really should explore the other planets in the system, but I don't think I ever have. A caustic planet. Apparently I have been on that one. Fungal, mold, copper, and ammonia. Nah, I don't need that that badly. This is the main planet I was on. This one is the big planet. Have I ever been on that one yet? The life incompatible planet. Copper, rusted metal, and salt. Fair enough. I've never been on this one. What's up with this planet? A corrosive planet. Fungal mold, copper, ammonia, and silver. Well, I do need more silver. Let's go! Whee! This will take a while. <laughs> this planet is a little further than the rest of them. Makes sense, but just a ways away. Yeah. <sighs> Let's see. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. And then eventually we will put more salvage data there. If there's any more to grab. There should be more to grab, and eventually I will. Man, I used a lot of fuel just getting to this planet. I was about to say, it looks like I'm heading towards a place that doesn't have a lot of land on it. So let's fix that, shall we? Head over to a place that has a little bit more land going for it. There we go. Looks like I was heading straight for an ocean at first. Better off on land. Wow. Place is some serious mountain ranges. All right. Recognize some fungal mold spots. That's good. And I'm gonna land here then. 
good. Corrosive, damp, sparse, abundant, and copious. Okay. There's some fungal mold right there. That's good. Very technology module. Oh, it's right there. Gotta love when it presents itself right there. Beautiful. Whee! Got three salvage data. Nice. Put that in the cargo section. Beautiful. And we're gonna break into this damaged machinery while we also phase through the ground to look at it. There we go. Nanites received. Not bad. Not bad at all. Whoop. Get ammonia out of that thing, but then there's also these creatures that are apparently rolling down a hill. Just rolling down the hill with no regard for what the hell they're doing, I guess. Unidentified plant. That's a word. <laughs> Interesting word. But the what? Is that what that is? I have no idea what that could possibly be at all. So weird. Alright, well, anyway. Moving on. Just gonna scan what I can scan. Fungal mold from that thing. This one's probably going to be primarily ferrite dust. Yep, knew it. Faintly luminous. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Keep scanning until I find nothing more that's new. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. Let's not fall down, shall we? Yes. Yes. Although, ow, there seems to be some flatter land. Might as well scan this too while I'm heading down. Some flatter land. might have some stuff in the ocean that I can identify as well. At this point, this is just exploration. This is for my fun. What the what? Oh, that's what that is. Okay, there. Whoop. Okay. That was almost bad. Yeah, this land is a little flatter down here. That's good. Ow! That hurt. A lot. Alright, cool. Here's this. Oh, this is unidentified. Okay, cool. This is also ammonia. Alright. There's that. Semi liquid bulbs. Nesting moths. That wasn't the thing I wanted. This was the thing I wanted. There we go. Interesting. Carpet. Alright. Fair enough. I guess. Grab that and this. Perfect. And I was correct. Things would be in the water. More interesting than what's on land. Possibly. We'll find out. Cytophosphate and oxygen. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to go in. There we go. Alright. 
Why is that shining? Why is this one shining more than the other ones? Weird. I wonder if I mine it if anything changes. Oh, that's why. Ooh. Those are weird. Those are weird. Get away from me with that. Oh, get away with me with that. That's weird. That is weird. Get away. Ooh. Identified material. Huh? Yeah, it's purely salt. Yay! Purely salt. Is that Destiny 2 multiplayer? No, I couldn't. I couldn't resist making the joke. I'm sorry. Uh, I make the joke because I am also one of the ones. Wait, I can mine the kelp sacks. Interesting. A rubbery, luminescent sack harvested from underwater candled kelp plants. Agricultural science has not yet tamed the candle kelp. As such, these sacks cannot be farmed. Oh, shit. Ow. Well, time to get out of the water. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that would have been embarrassing if I died in the water. Oh. Some sort of really quickly swimming entity. Screams when upset. Well, I mean... <laughs> You and about two-thirds of... Well, I was going to say teenagers, but I mean... I do the same thing when I'm upset. <laughs> two-thirds of humanity, I guess we could say. That's a little more accurate. There we go. kind of want to... Huh. If we can't... What, what is it? What is this? I don't know what it's useful for. I know it can be used as extra oxygen when you're down in the water, but what else could it be used for other than that? Crystal sulfide, hello. I will want some of that. Uh oh. Uh oh, about to erupt. Okay, good that. Oh, come on. Get the other one. Then I'm out of here. Whee! There's a thing over here, too. I'm not sure what that's about. Submerged relic. There's that. Oh! thing over here is underneath the water. Underneath the soil. It's in, a, like, an underwater cave or something. And then there's the submerged relic here. The doll core. Did... Did that... That helped deal with my... Hazard protection grabbing that. That... That's interesting. Weird, but interesting. Grabbing that relic. Helped reset it. It's really weird. Alright. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. Well, I did scan a lot more down here than there was on the surface. interestingly high amount of stuff in fact. Oh, and my inventory is all the way full. Uh-oh. <laughs> Where's my starship? Not close enough. Okay, well, time to bring it down here. Oh, well first, I'll scan that thing. Whatever that is. Cool. And we will bring it down here. Cool. Uh, 
And now I can throw some of my stuff in there. Cool. There we go. Um, hmm. Sign of phosphate. That's a different thing. Okay. Okay. This one is berry technology. Okay. Well. Get some more of that. What? A buried cache to boot. Okay. Didn't expect that. Mineral record for Gearididite. That's a hell of a name. To process the data into nanites or sell it for a lot of units. I'll just process it for units. Or rather, process it for nanites, which is far more useful. Huh. All right. Cool. Well, we have discovered a bunch of cool stuff on this planet, which is kind of what I was hoping for. And, well, there's not much else I really need to do here. I think I've scanned everything that I can in this little segment. So, I guess we'll just end the episode here for right now. Once I get off of this planet. So... Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. It's been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and kind of surfing around now that we know that Apollo can't be reached apparently. Rather, uh, Artemis can't be reached. We're going to get some help from Apollo. That's what I meant to say. But, um... Not quite sure how that'll work out. The guy seems to focus more on money than people. So we'll have to see how that goes. But in the meantime, we'll just collect as much as we can to be further useful in the future. Whether that's money or nanites or what have you to get us going further remains to be seen. But I noticed fungal mold over there and I'm going to go collect that off camera for you.